Power on. Captain Power and the soldiers of the future. Earth 2147. The legacy of the Metal Wars, when man fought machine and machines won. Biodreads, monstrous creations that hunt down human survivors and digitize them. Volcania, center of the Biodread Empire, stronghold and fortress of Lord Dread, feared ruler of this new order. But from the fires of the Metal Wars arose a new breed of warrior, born and trained to bring down Lord Dread and his Biodread Empire. They were soldiers of the future, mankind's last hope. Their leader, Captain Jonathan Power, master of the incredible power suits which transform each soldier into a one-man attack force. Major Matthew Hawk Masterson, fighter in the sky. Lieutenant Michael Tank Ellis, ground assault unit. Sergeant Robert Scout Baker, espionage and communications. And Corporal Jennifer Pilot Chase, tactical systems expert. Together they form the most powerful fighting force in Earth's history. Their creed to protect all life. Their promise to end Lord Dread's rule. Their name, Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future. Database Journal 4711, Mark 26. Captain recording. Scout and I are making contact with a Springer named Locke. He has data for sale. Data on the next phase of Project New Order. Those things will kill you. Easy, friend, easy. We're here to do business. I'm Captain Power. This is Sergeant Baker. Friends don't sneak up on people. And dreadheads don't announce themselves, as you'll find out if you keep playing games. You've got style, Livewire. Let's interface. Scan, my man. That's Project New Order, all right? Latest. I bring nothing but the hottest megabyte. Now, let's talk deal. Why are you didn't come at 2 o'clock? Report. That's a thief attempting escape. Power is here. Request instructions. Transmit target's last position to Blastar. Then engage and destroy power. Captain, where's Locke? Get to the sky bike. You follow him. I'll draw Sauron off.
but in short, your circuits jump, huh? Yeah. Joker's got Dread wants it bad. Right, then get him out of here before he gets another shot. Hey, Livewire, we haven't made a deal yet. You shall pay for this, Captain. You shall pay dearly. Ah! On the other hand, let's log out. Data indicates Icarus program, subroutine three, Dread Project New Order already operational. Suborbital space platform armed with long range digitizer now in position above Earth. Function mass digitation of human populace. Initial target eastern seaboard of United States. Digitation to commence at 1500 hours today. That's less than two hours from now. What do we miss the launching of that platform? Dread's Empire has facilities all over the globe, bases we know nothing about. It was probably launched from one of them. The question is how do we stop it? Excuse me, Captain. There is additional data on Project New Order. Go on, Mentor. Subroutine 4, the Prometheus program, will commence as soon as platform reaches optimum firing position. What's its purpose? Controlled ignition of plasma energy stations by broadcast power signal. The result? Plasma storm covering the entire seaboard. My God, it'll burn everything. New Order. Dread's perfect world rising on the ruins of the old. Can we stop it? I don't know. But we've got to try. Scout, get on the comlink. Alert Freedom 2 and the East Coast Resistance to what's happening. Pilot, you prep the jump ship. Tank Hawk, load all of our heavy weaponry on board. I'll study the data on Icarus and Prometheus and try to come up with a plan. We don't have much time, so move it. Right, Captain. to be informed as soon as contact is made. All sentry stations and trench units on ultraviolet alert. Overmine, calculate resolution of Icarus program. Resolution in 15.7 minutes. Your project goes well, Lord Dread. The new order begins, Lackey, and nothing will prevent it. Then your warlord's failure to stop the data thief from contacting the organic power does not concern you? You overestimate the good Captain Lackey. He is, after all, only human. Of course, Lord Dread, though he did manage to interfere with the first phases of your plan. Well, he will not interfere with the final two, and should he dare, my victory will be all the sweeter for his destruction. Now go away, I have no need of you. Uh, I live to serve. All right. We've got two objectives. First, Icarus Control. Now to breach it, we'll have to fly down this entrenchment and blow the doors using a proton missile. Pilot, that's your job. Hmm, sounds like fun. Once inside, we'll have about five minutes to blow the Icarus platform so that we can proceed to our second objective. Volcanium. Dread's main teepee? Now that's my kind of fight. You gotta be kidding, John. Hawk's right. I know that place, Captain. An attack like that's gonna be suicide. Not if we pull off the first mission. And if we don't, we'll all probably be dead anyway. Are we gonna have any help? Any backup? Negative. We're the only group who can possibly get to these two objectives in time. There's no other way. So what are we waiting for? Let's all go boldly where no man has gone before. 
Beam me up, Scotty. There's no intelligent life here. Simulation ended. Jump ship destroyed in 10.5 seconds. Well, I gained a few seconds. Come on, let's try it again. Gentlemen, time to go. Prod it's on. Begin arming digitizer. Sentry station I-15 to Lord Dread. Report. Visual sighting of striker craft on course for Icarus control. It was past us before we could open fire. Wow. Sauron! So long to hear, my lord. Power ship is headed for Icarus control. Intercept and destroy. It will be done! We're sailing so far. We've been lucky. Fire droid incoming! So much for luck. Evasive action! <laughs> ship get through. Icarus platform armed. We'll reach firing position in 3.5 minutes. All trench defenses prepare to open fire. Power must not reach the base. How'd you do in your simulations? Yeah, it's a piece of cake. You'll only get one shot. Make it good. We'll give you all the cover we can. Okay. It's for luck. What are you two waiting for? Get to the sky bikes. We'll see you soon. Ready?
No, this is a party! Forward shields demolished. Rear shields, buckled. Just a little. Jump ship. Come in, jump ship. Jump ship here. Hawk, you all right? My butt's sore, but the sky's clear. The captain? Uh, he's inside with Tank and Scout. Can you meet me at the rendezvous point? I'm on my way. Hawk out. Warning. Possible system disruption. Recharge immediately. Great. Let's keep it to ourselves, shall we? This place could use a good decorator. Troopers ahead, Captain. Loads of them just waiting for us. Good. We're headed in the right direction. Tank, why don't you announce us? of Icarus platform. In position. We'll fire in T minus 30 seconds and counting. 29, 28, 27, 26. You're too late, Captain. Titan's code's accepted. He's turning in position. Blow it. <laughs> Alert. Volcania in danger, Dread. 
What do you mean? Trajectory of Icarus platform indicates impact with Volcania in 20.6 minutes. Your orders, Dread. Run Prometheus program at once. Project New Order will succeed. And if power tries to stop it, he will die. Power to jump ship. Mission one accomplished. Is Hawk back? I'm here, Captain. Congratulations. We still have to tackle Volcania. Be with you soon, people. Power out. This is Captain Power. I'm closing in on Dread. Watch for base stations. Visibility down. Going to scanning systems. Activated. Check energy levels. We took a few hits, but we've still got plenty of power. Energy systems full. Hold on. I'm gonna blow this baby. <laughs> <laughs> 